Well, the concert that was originally slated to be here going on now after that more somber vigil has come to an end in the community using the whole evening as an opportunity to cope. And what is so powerful here tonight, so many people didn't even know this family at all. Lining the park concert stage, 10 flickering candles, symbolizing the 10 people lost just seven days ago. But that flicker magnified by the dozens and dozens of people holding candles, but also just trying to hold it together. I can't imagine an entire family at least losing, losing 10 family members. Just can't even, can't even fathom it. Catherine Crabtree with her sister Casey Taylor say they couldn't hold back the tears as they heard the names of all of the victims read over the microphone. It was, it was beautiful. What just happened tonight was really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Those 10 family members ranging in age from just 2 to 57 years old swept away while swimming in a popular pace and swimming hole. Survivors and witnesses say the flash floods came without warning. Catherine says anyone could have been a victim, so she hopes her presence shows her support. If that was my family, just knowing that a community did this, you know, even though we knew we didn't know any of them, it just helps a little bit, I, I hope. Now for those close to the family, there'll be a visitation on Monday and then a funeral on Tuesday back in the valley at St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Scottsdale. We will continue to cover this story for you. Reporting in Payson tonight, Megan Thompson, ABC 15, Arizona.